forget what anybody got to say about you be yourself nobody gonna have you like you got you at the end of the day so you just gotta rock out and be yourself surround yourself with people that believe in you even when it sound crazy even when it sound like nigga how Jay squad pump squad it's your girl jay you already know welcome back to jay vibes where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on i had to re react to asian dolls documentary on who is this by the way it's asian doll i'm all in it's about all deaf music their youtube channel so basically we're getting like deeper into asian dolls life definitely finding out new things about her that i never knew before so the first documentary that i reacted to of asian doll just a small little background of where she came from and like this documentary is really getting like personal 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 so i hope you enjoy this video you guys because a lot of you as well are into asian doll just like me i'm pumped about this video this is my second time reacting to it but it was a really great freaking video. So, before we get into this reaction, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Hit the bell so you notify every time your girl drop a video. Comment and like and share. And click all blue links in my description box. Make sure you are subscribed to Royalties World, YSMITV, and Royal Reacts. All three of those YouTube channels. And yeah, you guys... Y'all know I be setting up while I be talking, right? Let's get it. 97 on the beat, DFW's hip hop station. I'm Lil D, and you know, it's not often you get the new hometown hero, the new champ, <laughs> the new wave in the building. You Asian already know what's female. going on. Asian dog in the building. What's popping, what's popping? So, to become the first female signed to Gucci, obviously, I'm sure that's a huge. Okay, first female signed to Gucci. Do you not know? how much pressure I will have to be signed to Gucci. You gotta be ready for that. You gotta prepare yourself for that. Oof. That's big. Accomplishment, but do you feel pressure? Like, I gotta be as dope No, as it's right? crazy because I really don't feel pressure because of mm. just like um, the experience that I've had. I'm real confident in myself and you know what I'm saying? I know what I bring to the table. That's why I chose to sign a Gucci because like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I can meet those standards, you know, without being pressured. So. I definitely knew the position I was getting myself into when I did it. For you, when people say things about how you dress or how you look, you can handle it because it's like, girl, you just... Oh, yeah, man. I can handle it because I'm from, first of all, I'm from Dallas. You feel me? Forget what anybody got to say about you. Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? No. Forget what anybody got to say about you. Be yourself. Nobody gonna have you like you got you at the end of the day. Thanks. So you just gotta rock out and be yourself no matter what. been having fans, but I want to say it, it's gotten bigger. I'm the, a ghetto girl, you know what I'm saying, from the hood who dresses this way and I get this attention. Mm -hmm. There's real people involved, real people life in these situations involved. Oh, look at that baby. Being an artist just shit, it's like a dream come true. I don't even know. It's like an untrapped feeling, like for real. I'm still kinda getting used to it, but you know. I started getting to music when I was in high school. I had a lot of friends and shit. I was in the mix all the time. I had made a name for myself. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like when I heard myself on the mic and I heard my voice, it was over. So I just Posted my song. And mind you, I had how many photos I had? Probably nine thousand. Out of all of them, it was one that reached out and it was just like, I want to record you. Out of nine thousand, only one. Oh my God, I bet. And I was like, for me, 
bitch on you, a Barbie bitch on you, ain't know they call me Barbie bitch. His ass was just like, like in the car just singing and shit like he's a Barbie bitch. I'm telling you, when I put that song out, people start paying attention instantly. Barbie bitch. I was ahead of my time with the social media shit. Like I sit and mastermind that shit, bro. Like I have real fans and I'm in the hood. I stay in the hood, nigga. We hung on my fucking... For our curse, nigga, we had the motherfucking tax. Bro, I didn't even have a bed. I got fans, like probably over 30,000. Don't even got a bed. But they was playing my song like I was scared as fuck. But I can show that shit. In the streets, like, if you, if you show too, like, you care too much, you will get People do take your kindness for weakness. You may do have a soft heart, but niggas will play on that. You gotta know who you're dealing with at all times. Know who's in your circle. Know who's against you. Know who's for you. I was like fast. So, in a rap shit, that's how I was treating it. Because I literally used to be in them streets alone, young. And I made it out them hoes safe. Like nothing. I didn't go to jail. I ain't never been touched. None of that shit. For real. And I learned it from my mama. And that's what's up. Just because you ain't been in jail don't mean nothing. Going to jail is not nothing to brag about. Being in a fight, it ain't nothing to brag about. <laughs> She's just a real ass bitch. Well, hell, she just said she ain't even had no bed. So for her to be as humble as she is, and to her to still have goals and dreams and chase them and accomplish them, that's that's big, y'all. That's big. We had like a that's why she's a role model. Ooh. Her mama is so pretty. Uh, OMG, her mama is gorgeous. The Kylie Killer in Dallas. Amazing dogs, mom. I don't think I really ever been scared of nothing. My kids seen it all, because I ain't had nobody watch them. They watched me do everything because they was with me. But that's how I really just molded my kids, because I didn't want the streets of nobody to be able to get over them. You know what I mean? Tell them anything, and they fall for it. Nah, we ain't rocking like that. You asking questions. Yeah, that's how we doing it. OK. The first time I seen Sharon, I think at a party, we just linked up. We just just smoking and shit, you know. It was like we, we locked in. Sure, personality was strong. He had a strong personality, like I'm that nigga personality. But I loved it. Me, when I'm high, I'm just a talker. So I'm just saying like real last shit, like about the streets, like my goals and shit, bro. But my nigga was just sitting there listening, like you know what I'm saying, fucking with it heavy, like just listening. Like yeah, you can do that. And it's crazy, bro. Surround yourself with people that believe in you. Even when it sound crazy. Even when it sound like, nigga, how? They need to always believe in you. You need to first believe in yourself. When you speaking that, but surround yourself with people that believe in you and people that see you going where you see yourself going. You gonna get there. I've never in my life felt comfortable with telling nobody shit. I feel like everybody's against me. I feel like everybody wanted something for me. I feel like everybody wanted to see me feel. I feel like people really hated me. I feel like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, for me to just sit and talk to you, I could tell you I'm anything. You know what I'm saying? He used to tell me shit. You know what I'm saying? We vibed on life shit, personal shit. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how it was. Mm -hmm. Once that first conversation happened, it was over. People seen it. He said, oh, they turn me up. And I'm like, hey, yeah, we can do a song, what the fuck? You know, it's nothing. But, like, he used to say that, but I wasn't taking it like, my homie really wanted to do a song with me. Bro, he was the hardest nigga. I swear to God, going crazy. He, he was with it. He was with everything. The last conversation I had with him, he was supposed to meet me in Houston. I talked to him that day. Mm. First of all, Sherm is obviously a brother to her, like family, real close. To lose someone that close to you, I know that hurt her. I know that hurt her bad. Your mom still got the car. And I 
got a bullet hole right here, a bullet hole right here, shot right here, bullet hole right here, bullet hole right here, bullet hole right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. And the inside, this the one I thank God for right here. I'm Laquanta Water, Sharma 100 Mama. We originally from New Orleans. We had came here from Katrina and just stayed here ever since. When I first met her, I was coming from work and he was sitting outside in his car. And he was like, this Angie dog, you know who this is? I was like, nah. He said, you need to look up because she going to be something like it. She didn't just change him. He did a lot for her too. It was like they had each other back, like, you know. But like, he knew. When you lose somebody like that, like, <clears throat> she had to be strong. She had to be super duper strong to lose someone like that. She's so real. And I wish she was here to see her. That's crazy. <laughs> I still didn't believe, like, none of it. When they told me he died, I'm like, you can't tell me that. That's Superman to me. That's my hero. We went to South by Southwest in, in 2016. Then we went to a party. They were like, yo, we know you. And I'm not expecting him, my brother. Like, my big brother to be this known in a, another state somewhere. I wasn't expecting it. I can't, like, that was the best day of my, best week of my life. Sometimes it be like a little flashback or a little blur. I don't think too heavy on what happened. He, Sharon was supposed to be talking to me. Sharon was supposed to come with me. I just feel like I was, nigga, I was in hell. I was mm -hmm. paranoid. I was paranoid as fuck. Because... Nigga, they would have the same thing to me. And I know it. I feel like I was next. And I left Dallas like the next day. Wow. Once that happened, nigga, I was a whole different person. I believe I had a lot to prove. I talk to my nigga every day, in the morning, in the shower, at night. For a while, I thought she had forgot about us. Mm -hmm. But when I saw that, tears rolled out my eyes and said she didn't. I'm glad Asia, though, put a support of her life, telling a story about my son that people don't get to know. Nigga, I was a studio rat. Nigga, that's what really kept my mind off that shit. I recorded every day. I recorded, 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 recorded. But every day, I thought about Sean. Like, to this day. People who had a relationship with my brother, it's just like, we have a connection that's like, his inner soul hopped into me. It's just like, I mean, Asian dog just got real close. His death not gonna break me. All he did was made me go stronger, made me go hard. Mm -hmm. Nah, this something right here, we gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. We gonna bounce back. Mm -hmm. She ain't no quit. No matter what you go through, y'all, don't let it keep you down. Don't let it keep you down. Do not let it keep you down because... Life is all about obstacles and changes and, you know, hurt, pain, laughter, love. Life is full of a lot, okay? And only the strong really survive out here. And especially when you just come from a rough place already, <laughs> you feel like the world is against you. Well, girl, she got a lot of crunching to do. It don't stop. Mm -hmm. And always she just keep motivated, you know what I mean, and take her her business, mm -hmm. it's real, ain't no other feeling, it's real, I'm proud of my girl. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know how that you are, and to be so young, like, I ain't had this kind of stuff seen when I was your age, it took me a minute. Nah, that's what I'm proud for, you know what I'm saying, because we know the game, we know the tools, we young, we fresh, so we know what's going on, so we, we definitely in a mix, so I'm just excited like that. Yeah, like, yeah. I love what you're doing, thank you so much, much. success, you're doing your thing, you I already know, see where you go next. To the top, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah. Up, that's period, you know, the doorway. For real, for real. Y'all already know I'm gonna say she's sexy. In memory of Sherman Waters, 95. So he would have been 24 today, three years ago. Mm.
that's what's up that's what's up that's what's up you guys so yeah that that video was pretty pretty deep very personal um and i love when celebrities and artists period when they do documentaries on you know their journey their life where they came from where they're at now you know just a little update because they're doing it for the people that support them you know i appreciate that shout out to all deaf music for that lit ass interview thank you agent doll for sharing your life and opening yourself and getting real personal i right, with your supporters um because i enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos like this you guys please make sure you are subscribed click the bell like the video share it click all blue links follow me on my social medias i love you so much when you're watching this video have a great day have a blessed day and i'm signing out to the next video peace